Belief number one, universal soul. Sounds interesting and nonsense at the same time. Uh, Hindus believe in the universal soul now known as? Hindus believe in a universal soul known as Brahman. 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 I like, I wish I could speak like, I wish I could like know these like, just, just float off of my tongue. Like, I, you know, I should practice. Brahman. A formless, genderless source of all reality. Okay, formless, gender source of all reality. Yeah, that sounds like BS, yet very interesting. Brahman is the universe and the material that makes up the universe. Okay, so if Brahman, okay, hold on. Genderless, a formless gender source of all reality. Well, isn't that just energy, matter and energy then? Is that just another name for matter and energy? Maybe I'm trying to, I'm trying to like do the gym, like, you know, how people, how Muslims and Christians look at their scripture and then look at modern science. I'm like, well, this could be this and that could be that. And therefore our religion is true. Let's try this with this. Okay. So matter is, you know, energy by itself. Like matter is energy and energy is formless. It's and genderless and a source of our reality. Okay, so guys, Brahman, let's, let's steal man this position, okay? Let's steal man Hinduism. Brahman is just energy. Formless, genderless source of all reality. Brahman mm. is the universe yeah. and the material that makes up the universe. Great, energy can change into matter, matter can change energy, so Brahman is just energy. I, if they don't claim that there's any consciousness associated with Brahman, then I will declare this as acceptable. Verse. It's a but luckily, because I'm pretty sure they had no idea about you know matter and energy and all of that back then. So maybe by luck, this ended up being right. Make uh, it's a trippy concept. Think of okay, the concept. But think of Brahman as an ocean and everything else as drops propelling out of that ocean. Yeah, separate for a time, but still the same thing. If that makes yeah, yeah, yeah. Separate at the time. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah, energy. Everything is made out of energy. And matter is basically condensed energy. Okay, so Brahman, we're going to say Brahman is energy, and this would be accurate. Makes sense. Two, belief. Well, okay, number one passes the test. As I mean, doesn't pass the test. It got lucky. But let's just accept it as true. If, if that energy is not conscious in any way, we give it a pass. We give it a pass. Belief in moksha. Moksha, what is this? The goal in Hindu life is to somehow get back to Brahman. Okay, that's not good. I mean, I was giving Brahman a pass, but if you want to just go back to being energy. See, I knew there was something more special about Brahman than just The goal energy. in Hindu life is to somehow get back to Brahman. Brahman. If a Hindu can do this, they will be freed from the cycle of life and death. This is called moksha. You can okay, so that's nonsense. That's obviously nonsense. Moksha. You can achieve moksha by realizing your oneness with Brahman. Okay, 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 okay. Bruce Brahman is now looking suspiciously more than just energy, okay? Brahman is, seems like something more special in some way that you need to get. Okay, so we are one with Brahman, okay? We are just, I mean, if we, if Brahman is what I described it, if it was just um, energy, if it was just energy, Obviously, we're not. We're just made out of molecules and atoms, and then subparticle, subatomic particles, and all of that is just energy. So we are one with Brahman. So let me just let me try to steal man this other core belief. Okay. So maybe if I realize that I'm nothing but energy, nothing but subatomic particles floating around the world, maybe I will have a perspective from life that is basically get in touch with my consciousness, be able to step outside of my consciousness and observe the universe in a way that will be, that makes me more in control of my, I don't know, some kind of crap like that. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay. But it seems to me that this is nonsense stuff because it seems like this Brahman is some like magical stuff that you need to connect to somehow rather than just like material energy. But even though everything comes from Brahman, who is the one real... F who is... A <gasps> Guys, what the hell? This Brahman thing is a who, not a what. That makes it even more nonsense. Look at this. But even though everything comes from Brahman, who is the... Who? See, I knew it. I knew that this is not just energy stuff. This It has consciousness, right? It's It says, 
But even though everything comes from Brahman, who is, not what is, but who is the one real thing in Hinduism? Oh, see, it makes it even more nonsensical. One real thing in Hinduism. Hindus do, after all, have thousands of gods.